special 2019 Sydney Film Festival program launch show. Hi, I'm Chris Hemsworth. And I'm here today to share with you highlights of the 2019 Sydney Film Festival. In a city gripped by the impending end of Game of Thrones final season, everybody dies, a festival rises to warm our hearts. And this year's festival program consists of over 250 films and documentaries from all around the world. It's our biggest lineup yet. And hot tip, you can head to our brand new website now and start planning your itineraries. Tickets have literally just gone on sale and some sessions will sell out fast. With four weeks to go till the festival, now is a great time to decide which films you want to take that special someone to on a date so you can impress them. Or maybe you want to take yourself. You do you. It's 2019. This year, there are 12 films vying for the prestigious Sydney Film Prize. I've always wanted to do this. The nominees for this year are Baccarat by Kleber Mendoza Filo, Bellbird by Hamish Bennett, Dirty God by Sasha Pollock, God Exists, Her Name is Petrunia, by Tiona Struga Matevska. Hearts and Bones by Ben Lawrence. Judy and Punch by Mira Folks. Monos by Alejandro Landes. Never Look Away by Florian Henkel von Donnersmark. Pain and Glory by Pedro Almodovar. Parasite by Bong Joon Ho. Synonyms by Nadav Lapid. And The Souvenir by Joanna Hogg. Now, some of us are more inclined to see films with our favourite actors in them. Ooh. Excuse you. You know who you are. The festival has some of the most talented and recognisable stars walking the red carpet premieres and feature talks. So, here are some of the famous faces you'll see on screen. Walt Jr. from Breaking Bad plays a stand-up comedian with anger management issues in Standing Up for Sunny. And Jamie Bell has face tattoos in Skin. Speaking of swoon, a former hot Hufflepuff and hot vampire Robert Pattinson is now a hot death row inmate sent on a suicide mission in the sci-fi epic High Life by Claire Denis. Older swooners and in excess fans should reactivate their fan forum accounts and gather en masse for Mystify, the new Michael Hutchins documentary. Adam Driver takes a break from the First Order to fight zombies alongside Bill Murray, Tilda Swinton, Iggy Pop and Selena Gomez in Jim Jarmusch's The Dead Don't Die and paying tribute to all the queens in this year's documentary program. From Aretha Franklin to Trixie Mattel, from Frida Glynn to Maori director Marata Mita, who decolonised the screen. Lastly, we celebrate the life and works of arguably the greatest filmmaker of the French New Wave, Agnes Varda, in the Viva Varda retrospective. So whatever it is you're into, we have them all. The best thing about going to a film festival is feeling like you're going on an overseas holiday. First stop, Russia, where we tag along with Werner Herzog as he meets the former Russian president in meeting Gorbachev. Next, Rafe finds a whisks us to France for the ballet dancer biopic of Rudolf Nureyev in The White Crow. For those feeling adventurous, Brillante Mendoza's Alpha The Right to Kill is an atmospheric, action-packed thriller on the war on drugs in Manila. And speaking of death, the delightful murder mystery Ondog takes us deep into the Mongolian hinterlands and, well, never leaves. Couldn't you do with a holiday to the movies? Film festivals are about vibrant ideas and confronting subjects. Some of the most exciting stories are often told by first-time filmmakers. That's right, so take a note of these names. Take a screen grab if you need to. It's a lot of names. Both at 23 years old, Hiroshi Okuyama's Jesus and Kwon Man Ki's Clean Up represent the next wave of Asian cinema, having now taken the international festival circuit by storm. This is not very Kanye. Australian actor Mira Folks makes her feature directorial debut with Judy and Punch. And then there's the emerging Brazilian filmmaker Alejandro Landes with his new film Monos, which The Guardian describes as Apocalypse Now on Shrooms. Mm. Enough said. So if you want to experience this and so much more, make sure you get your tickets ASAP. And that's it. A special thank you to you guys, the audience, who are going to make this festival fantastic. And hey, I'll see you at the movies. Save me a chop top. <laughs>